This video series will take you step by step through the process of setting up and building your very own website. Setting up your own website is actually a lot easier than most people realize and can generally be done in less than 30 minutes. Whether you're looking to build a personal website or blog or a website for a company or business, and even if you've never done anything like this before, don't worry, it's really very simple. Today, I'm going to take you through the process and actually build a website while you watch so you can see every single step that's taken. There are two things that every website needs in order to work. The first one is a domain name. That allows your website to be found on the internet, such as google.com or amazon.com, and will generally cost you around $13 per year to register. The second thing is a web host, which is a computer that will host your website and be connected to the internet 24-7 to allow people from all around the world to see your site. Your web host will generally cost you around $7 a month for a single website. Today, I'm going to show you how to get both a domain and a website and how to set them up. I'll be showing you one of the biggest, most reputable companies on the internet for both your domain and web host purchase. You don't have to use the company that I mentioned, but I personally use them for my own sites and I recommend them to my family and friends. So without further ado, let's get started. Step one, choosing a domain name. The first thing you'll need to do is choose a domain name for your website. Now you can use any domain name you want provided that it's available, but here are a few tips that you might like to keep in mind. Number one, your domain name should be very short and easy to remember. Two, if it's possible, make it descriptive so people know what to expect when they get there. Three, try not to use hyphens or numbers. It looks ugly and people will forget to use them. Four, choose the proper extension, preferably a .com, .net, or .org, or your own country-specific domain extension like .co, .uk, if you're in the UK. It's a good idea to write down a few different ideas ready for the next step where we'll get to check and see if your desired domain name is available. Step two is registering your domain and setting up web hosting. Now, for registering your domain and setting up web hosting, I recommend you use a company called HostGator. They are one of the world's largest and most well-respected web hosts and domain registrars in the world. I've been personally using these guys for my own websites for years. Plus, we've worked out a great discount offer for you today, so you can save a bit of money on their already low prices. So click the link below this video and head over to HostGator. Don't worry, the link is going to open in a new window so you can still follow along with the video. Now, once you get there, you should see something like this. Click on the button that says View Web Hosting Plans. Next, you're going to see a bunch of different web hosting plans that HostGator offers. You can choose any plan that you like. Now, personally, I recommend that most people go with the baby plan because that's going to allow you to add unlimited domains to your account. But if you are only ever going to want a single domain, then you can go ahead with the cheaper Hatchling plan. Next, you're going to see a domain name search box. So enter your desired domain name and HostGator is going to run a quick check to see if it's available. Remember, there are already millions of websites online, so there are already millions of domain names in use. If someone is already using the one that you want, you'll have to come up with a different one. You can keep trying different domain names in the search box until you find one that you like. If you can't think of anything, it can sometimes be a good idea to add a word or two to the start or end of your domain. For example, if you wanted to register dogtraining.com and it wasn't available, you could try dogtrainingguide.com or mydogtrainingtips.com or something similar. Once you've found an available domain name that you're happy with, scroll down and choose your web hosting package and billing cycle. Again, it's up to you, but remember, the longer hosting you pay for, the cheaper it gets. Next, you'll need to enter a username and password for your account. Make sure you write these down somewhere and keep them safe. Then you'll just need to fill out your billing information. The next section offers you a few hosting add-ons, such as domain privacy protection and site locking. You can have a read about each one of them and decide for yourself if you want to add them. But none of them are required to get your site up and running. They just add a bit of extra security to your website. The next section is important. As I said earlier, we've arranged a special discount of an additional 25% off for users of this website. So enter the words website tutorials without a space in the coupon code box and click validate. Then you just need to double check that all the details are correct and click the create account button. In just a few minutes, you'll receive a confirmation email from HostGator telling you that your new domain and web hosting are set up. So, once you get the email, 
you can continue with the next step. How to install WordPress on your website. Okay, so you now have your domain name and web host all set up and ready to go. Next, we're gonna show you how to install WordPress. WordPress is a free platform that's been commonly used by bloggers and site owners for many years. It basically allows you to build websites without needing any coding or design skills. It's highly customizable, user-friendly, and really is the best way to build your website. HostGator makes it very easy to install WordPress, so I'm now gonna take you through the installation process. First, you're gonna need to log in to your website control panel. You can do this by opening up a browser window and typing your new domain into the address bar with a forward slash and the word cPanel after it. So it's gonna look something like this, www.yourdomain.com slash cPanel. Now obviously, you'll replace the word yourdomain.com with your domain name. You will then be asked to enter a username and password, which you can find in your HostGator welcome email. So enter those and you'll be taken to your control panel, which will look something like this. Now there are lots of things you can do from within your control panel. You can set up email accounts, check your site's visitor statistics, upload files, and a range of other things. But for this tutorial, we're just focused on setting up WordPress. So scroll down until you see the fantastic deluxe logo and click on that. Next, you wanna click on the WordPress link in the left side menu. Then click New Installation. Now you just need to fill in a few details for your site. The first box labeled Install in Directory, you can just leave blank. Then you need to enter an admin username and password to manage your site. They can be anything you like, but remember, again, write them down and keep them somewhere safe. The next section labeled Base Configuration can again be left blank. Then click on the Install WordPress button. You'll then see a confirmation page, so just click the Finish Installation button, and that's it. You're done. You can now visit your domain, and you'll see the standard WordPress install on it. Congratulations! You now have a basic website up and running. See, it really wasn't that hard, was it? Next, I'll show you around WordPress, how to configure, customize it, and use it. Once you have the default WordPress installed on your domain, you've technically built your first website. You can use this default WordPress install as is, if you like, or you can customize it with themes and plugins that will allow you to build any type of website you want. Now, there are thousands of ways to customize your WordPress site, but for this tutorial, I'll just show you a few of the basic things that you need to know. To log into the admin section of your website, you'll need to add forward slash WP dash admin to the end of your domain name. It should look like this, www dot yourwebsite.com slash WP dash admin. You'll then see this login page where you enter the WordPress username and password that you created when you installed WordPress. Now, once you've logged in, you'll see your dashboard. This is where you can manage your website from. It's a good idea to familiarize yourself with this interface as you'll be using it a lot when managing your website. On the left-hand side, you can see a lot of submenus that all serve their purpose, but for now, let's only focus on the most important ones. General settings. If you click on the settings tab, then general, you'll be taken to a page where you can set up the basic things on your site, such as the name of your website, called site title, a tagline, and your contact email address. Once you're happy with these settings, click save changes. Next, let's have a look at the posts tab. This is where you can add new content to your site. You can use posts to add articles or blog posts to your site. You'll see that WordPress has already added a sample post. You can simply delete this post and then start a new one by clicking on New Post. To change the appearance of your website, you can change your theme. Now, there are thousands of free themes available for WordPress, as well as a heap of professionally built themes, which usually cost between $30 to $80 to buy. For more information about themes and how to use them, check out the WordPress themes section of our website. Everything in WordPress is fairly self-explanatory and has been designed to be easy to use. There are also tons of tutorial videos available online to show you how to do pretty much everything you could ever want to do with your site. I'd encourage you to have a play around and get very familiar with how everything works. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you've been able to follow through this video series and get your website up and running. We'll be adding more tutorial videos to our site to show you how to customize your site and do various other things. So keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching.